For the second set of notes in section 11.2, you'll be doing the following example problems on your own. Please follow the directions on the first page, which state you have to show the formula, the substitution, and write your final answer with units squared at the end. Please hit pause. For problem one, you should have written that the area of the parallelogram can be found by taking base times height. Our base is 15, our height is 3. We don't even have to use those tens that are given to us. And so we're left with 45 units squared for the final answer. For our equilateral triangle, you should be thinking all of the angles in that triangle are 60 degrees. But we have to draw on our height. So once we draw on that altitude, we create two 30, 60, 90 triangles. We can use that triangle to find the height of the large triangle. I'm going to work with the orange triangle here. So we know the side across from our 30 degree angle, which is 3. So the side across from our 60 degree angle is 3 radical 3, which is the height of our triangle. So we do 1 half of our base of 6 times our height of 3 radical 3 to get 9 radical 3 centimeters squared for the area of our triangle. For number 3, we want to find the area of the parallelogram. Drawing in our height, we create a 45, 45, 90 triangle. We know the side across from the 90 degree angle is 6, so that's our x radical 2. To solve for x, we could divide that by 2 and stick a radical 2 on the end. To get that our height is 3 radical 2. Doing base times height, we get the area is 30 radical 2 units squared. For number four, we want to find the area of the isosceles right triangle, keyword isosceles, which means that it's a 45, 45, 90 right triangle, which means that both legs have a length of seven. Doing one half base times height to find the area of the triangle, we're left with 24 and a half units squared. Then for number five, we should be thinking that the area of the entire figure is made up of the area of the triangle plus the area of the rectangle. Solving that out using our 8, 15, 17 triangle and recognizing that opposite sides of the rectangle are congruent, we're left with 264 units squared for the area of the entire figure. Please don't forget to show all of those steps and also please don't forget units squared on the end of your answer.